I'm Mertz Jaffer, and I'm here on the set of Degrassi season 13 with my favorite character from the show, <laughs> my favorite actress, Christine. You're not even shooting today. I was like, I'm not going to do this unless Christine's going to be the tour guide. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that I yes. was your face. No. Are you kidding? I was like, no, we got to do a day when like Christine is here, but then my gonna I was just like, Christine's going to leave I'm the tour. I'm so flattered. Thank you so much. I mean, you're not wearing purple, you know, for I'm next sorry, time. I'm sorry, yeah. Okay, but we, we did that one time, though. We matched for We did. It was a premiere, premiere party. Yeah, yes, that was exactly. funny. Yes, exactly. That's funny. Um, so we're here on the set. Now, wh where do you think we should start this tour? I think we should kind of go downtown to the dot, Paris. I heard you were taking me to France. Is yeah, that, is let's that true? Go. Let's okay. Go to Paris. Is it let's that easy? That. I don't have to pack anything? No, it's totally easy. So, like, this is the front of the school. Okay. But the thing is, when you go inside, it looks like a school. And then you turn the corner, and it's like the Edwards house or something. It's <laughs> crazy. It's like the school and then like a neighborhood behind and then it turns into the gym so I'm excited to show you all of it. It's like the generic sketchy alleyway that we usually shoot a lot of um, stuff in. And then I think actually that convenience store right there yeah. is Zig's yes. family convenience yes. store. So there's a lot of um, stuff going on there with Zig and his mom which is cool. Okay. You can tell why I'd want to stop at the dog, right? Yeah. Like look at the decor. Like hello. Yeah, it just like that's how I want my room. I hear the dot looks like really good macchiatos. Really? Yeah. Okay. Um, so Can we go in? Yeah, let's, okay. like, yeah, let's okay. go in the dot. Okay. So we have these really delicious looking donuts and they're not even real. So it's like, what is happening? But when we do come okay. on set, we do get fed real food. Everything's okay. edible and if you're allergic to anything, props will be like, is this okay? And if is you it all? Like, what about these? What about these? They're all fake. Everything's fake. And like, it looks amazing. That's the thing. Yeah, it totally. And looks you know so what? Cool. It's like, where can I find this kind of cute cafe in Toronto? Like, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. You wanna go back outside? Yeah. Let's okay. Go back outside. Are these anybody's houses? Um, I actually, Imogen had a house here once. This is the ending house over there. Okay. Um, but that was just like the door of it. That was like with her dad and yeah, the yeah. dog. Yeah, right? but that yeah. was actually on location. But with the mom stuff, it was like a house over here. Gotcha. So. All right, I want to see friends. Can yeah, we see friends? Yeah, let's go. Okay. Turn the corner. This is the lightest packing I've ever done for France. <laughs> we always have crew switching everything up for different scenes. Always oh, wow. working on different stuff. Oh, look at this. I look, everything's in French, are. too. Wow. Bonjour, we are in France. This, and so I, I heard that this might be, is this a green screen? This would be a green screen. So that turns into um, a huge screen and it's projected with um, different things from Paris, like the Eiffel Tower. No way. And stuff like that. So. This would all be dressed as Paris, but that would be the Eiffel Tower and the whole thing. Does that include like people like, you know, when they're having a coffee on the street, like you have people here too? There's, there's extras on the day, yeah. but on the green screen there's also fake extras. Like, no way. Yeah, it's crazy. So wow. I, I've never actually worked with a green screen like that. Yeah. So I, was, I would wonder how that would like, change your performance or like where you would look and where you would stand. Yeah, because if there's like fake yeah. people on the wall, I'd want to talk to them. Totally. Yeah. And, but, on the episode, it looks so real and amazing, and that's all thanks to our fabulous crew and everyone at production. And is there any is there any place here that like you frequented a lot, or is it just like exterior? Um, it's just exterior. Just exterior. Yeah. So this would all be like cafes. I think this was like a market at some point. Yeah. And I think this is actually the doors to the school that they that Miles and Maya ah. and um, all the new kids go to French class. So this is the actual door. Amazing. And yeah, and it's really cool because all the cars, they changed license plates for to be in Fran France and everything. So it's a really cool thing. And then you just turn around and it's like, oh, there's Toronto. So. Well, I, I want to go inside. You're going to show me hair and makeup yeah, those are and my the classrooms. Places. And you're going to tell me what MI means, right? Yeah, I'm going to show you the MI room. Okay. So. Wow. Stay tuned. Mission <laughs> Impossible. Well, we're back at the front of the school. Is there anything else I should see before we go in? Well, I think I should say my favorite storyline of all time was the Frostival. And on set, we use every nick and corner we can. So we use the parking lot, which is right over there, wow. as a whole carnival frostival thing. And it was amazing. There was a Ferris wheel, there was a carousel, and we did a night shoot for that, which was so much fun. And that's when, like, me and Annie started becoming really, really close. So that's we call that the night where we, you know, we got we got best, we became best friends. Right, Fimogen at Fimogen, the frostival. Yeah, Fimogen at the frostival. Yeah. Um, so it was really cool. I miss Annie so much, but yeah. All right, so let's go inside. Awesome. No, no bad things. Let's, let's go, go inside. inside. So we're going inside yeah, now. Yeah, let's go inside. Okay. Oh wait, I got the door. Oh, okay. thank you so much. What a gentleman. Thank you. 
a lot of things always happen in the cafeteria. Mm -hmm. um, we have the lunch line over there, and then we have Degrassi Radio, which isn't set up right now, but that's the room where we shoot Degrassi Radio. It's kind of dark. Um, looks a little spooky right, right. now. Right, that's like Dave's. Yeah, hangout. Dave's yeah. hangout. Yeah. And then we have the student council room, which is behind you. Um, so a lot of different things happen in the cafeteria, which is really cool. And it's a really cute cafeteria. It is. Yeah, it is I want actually, this to be my cafeteria. It's very realistic, right? Mm -hmm. It just looks like my old one. Mm -hmm. Now, the last thing I want to do is can you sneak me on set so I can see this being filmed? Um, well, I think I can. Let's go really? try it. Yeah. Okay, do I have to do I need a password? Um, no. Okay, what about crispy? Crispy's a okay. good okay. If you say crispy, you'll be a lot anywhere. Okay, got it. Okay. At Club 2. <laughs> Mertz, I promise that I take you yes. through an actual scene, so let's, uh, okay. go, let's go see who's Okay, really quick. Um, it's like, you're part of the show now. You're a character. Here we go. Look at all those people. So, <laughs> Same thing, no Those are all extras, and down there is where Jimmy got shot, and Jimmy was played by Drake. Wow. <laughs> okay. okay. So what's next, Christine? Okay, so now we are walking into Miles' estate mansion. Wow. House. Um, it's pretty amazing that we have this on the set. Uh, we have a gorgeous pool, salt water, heated, the whole thing. Um, I wonder, I always wonder, if crew members like secretly like take a dive in the pool. What about cast members? I don't know what cast members because yeah. we always have to like look nice so we can't really change Mess up our the makeup. Parents. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that would kinda give it away. But I always wonder if someone sneaks you know, sneak like they sneak in the pool swim it, or something. Now this looks a little familiar to me. Yes. Okay, this looks a little like LA. LA complex. LA complex. Yes, we filmed LA complex here. Um, so this would be all the hotel rooms and oh, wow. every everything and it's just so crazy how our crew can completely change around the set. Um, it's mind blowing. Um, but yeah, so all these like doors would have been in hotel rooms and you can actually see a little bit of it left at the top there. There's um, a little bit of LA complex. There. Right, right. So it's like it's like a really great five star hotel. Yeah, and now then, it's like a yeah. And then five it's like star the hotel. six upstairs. Exactly. Yeah. Like hi. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really think this is great. We also use this pool for I think a small scene with um, Allie and Dallas. They yep. kind of jumped a fence and went swimming. Yes. Secretly. Remember that Yes, thing? yes, yes, yes. And then we used this pool for, oh yes, for Drew's fighting cage scene where he has the whole fight club thing going on, but it actually wasn't built yet. So it was used like as like a shady construction site for the fight like club, fight which club, was really yes. cool. Now, I know people always wonder if the door is actually open. So this is just oh, like, these, these are just yeah. used for like exteriors, right? Yeah, this is all used for exteriors, but I think some of these doors do open because it was LA Complex set. Right. Um, but I don't think some of those ones do. So it'd be kind of funny if you were in a scene and you would think a door opened. Right. And, you're like, Oops. and then you like fall down. Oops, yeah, this and it's isn't like open. Uh, um, I want to yeah. like go up there. Can we see the view from yeah, uh, the let's stairs? Go okay. So let's check out this yeah, view. Yeah, this is awesome. I think um, Anna plays Zoe. Zoe and uh, uh, Miles, Eric, he, they had a scene here um, at a party, I think. So there's a lot of parties that shot here and stuff like that, which is cool. You know, it just, just a show question, like, is Imogen the type that would get along with Zoe? I feel like they're just completely opposite. Total Anna. opposites, but I really admire Anna and I love the character Zoe, so I think she's playing it really great. But wow. Imogen, I don't know if she'd be friends with that crew. Right, Christine might be. Yeah, Christine yeah. might be. I mean, they're, <laughs> they're fun, they're fun, they're cool, but I think Imogen kind of has her own style, which I like, and I like that Imogen kind of sticks to her own thing. Um, but then again, she's also becoming friends with other people like right. Adam and Drew, so I would never see that coming. But what about yeah. with with Miles? Like, is Miles more of a Christine friend or more of an Imogen friend? Um, he, I don't know if he's a Christine friend because he's kind of a bad boy, and he's kind <laughs> of like too like too much of a bad boy. Like, I would, maybe I would fall for him, but then I'd be like, wait a second, no, right. you're bad. But Imogen, no, Imogen's way too smart for that. Imogen would be like, no, I I know what type you are, and I don't like you. Already. Gotcha. So no miles and imaging. Um, I want to go inside. Can we see yeah, the classroom? Yeah, let's hair go and makeup? inside. Okay. Yeah. This is my favorite room. Okay. It's the hair and makeup room. I come here every morning for touches and imaging hair and makeup. Now, do you all like use the same lipstick and blush? No, or do you no, have, no, like, no, personalized no. Kits? No way, no way. Yeah, we have our personalized bags. And actually, I can go for a little bit of a touch. Oh up my right goodness! Now, Wait, so. what does your bag say? First of all, look at this. It says Imogen, and then it says Crispy, which is my nickname on set. So this is like accumulated makeup from all season that I wear as Imogen. 
So yeah. They don't. I, I don't think they would have my color here. Oh, totally. We have all colors. And oh wait, me everything. and Melinda. Melinda. All right, I'll just use Melinda stuff. So. <laughs> nice. Okay, let me just get a touch up here. Do you want some? No. No. Are you kidding? No. This is the wardrobe, wardrobe. room. Another favorite of mine. It's humongous, so bear with me here. Hi, Nicole. Hi. <laughs> You get to keep the clothes. Um, at the end of the season, you can buy your favorites. So here oh, we go. look at this! this. Wow. Um, big closet. Look at all the old characters, and still Drew is here. Why? Why are their clothes still here? Um, because maybe if they come back for a day, or if they wanna, if other characters have the same style, they'll pull from their mm, okay. um closet. So here's mine, Imogen, and you can come down this oh, oh alleyway, and you have everything that Imogen's ever worn. No way. Um. Yeah, everything. I wonder if I can see. I don't know. I, I wear a lot of this. Yeah. So this looks so familiar. Do I. And a lot of these. I'm sure you wear these. No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, so this is really great, and we get to come here, come in here, and try stuff on. And yeah. Do you have a, Do you have a favorite outfit here that you can show me? Um, favorite shirt. Favorite, favorite something. Oh, I really liked this dress actually. I wore it um, playing in the in the Whisper Hug band, and I really. Um, so. Is this stuff that like Christine would wear too, or is it just Imogen? Like, are your styles congruent at all? Um, or no? Sometimes they are. Sometimes I bought some dresses from here, um, but most of the times it's all like skulls and black. And I don't know if I'm about skulls. I know. <laughs> so. I, I know a lot of girls <laughs> that would like kill to see like Monroe's. Oh yeah! Right? Should we go? Yeah. Well, I I would like to pass by just to yeah, say we let's did go. it. Okay. Come on. Okay. My, well, hopefully we can find some, okay. some goodies. Um, yeah, we have Monroe's like shoes. These look like fairly familiar. He wears these all the time. Oh, and is this his too? Uh, everything here is his. So like, <laughs> just like generic stripes and. That's stuff very Monroe. Like that. This one's really like standing out to me. Look yeah, at this. this is like a thing for sure. Look, I like it. So yeah, Monroe's worn all these things and. Yeah. Oh here. <laughs> so, I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> those are for all you fan girls. I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> okay. So now we are inside the school. Okay. But are we in the school? Because we're also in Claire's bedroom. Wow. Which is crazy. Look how cute this room is, first of all. Um, this is very Claire right here. Oh, yeah. Everything you see, like, really matches the character. So this is kind of like a chill vibe. Yeah. Really cute, pretty, girly. really think that matches Claire. Um, oh, here, come here. Um, here's uh, Sinead Grimes, who <gasps> Aislinn played as her sister on the show, which is hilarious. Very good friend of mine. Um, that's so funny. That is, oh, how old is Shanae in this? Like, I'm not sure, to be honest, but Aislinn looks really young. So, I and don't is that, know. And is that like their TV dad? I guess that's yeah. the TV dad. Okay. Um, but also, I know you guys wow, will love that this. that was great. Since this is Claire's bedroom, we have, of course, Eli <laughs> pictures on the mirror. Which e Claire, is so e Claire. E Claire, okay. E Claire pictures. So we have them at grad. We have them just like at a photo shoot together. Who's that? Who's that at the bottom? Do you know? Um, I have no idea. <laughs> this is another thing. You see things and you're like, I don't really know. Yeah. But yeah, so Claire's bedroom. Wow. Really cute. Oh, so here okay, we go. The boys' locker room. Now, this is also when they, this is like the change room for when they were on the hockey team, right? Hockey team, boys, basketball. So everything. So you'll see a lot of scenes with teams in here and the athletes of Degrassi, which is cool. Um, okay. And then you kind of walk out another doorway. Okay. This is kind of would be like at school too. So okay. you come into the foyer of Degrassi. That over here is the balcony where Cam jumps off and breaks his arm, which is a huge scene. That's right. It's a very sad scene to watch. And I remember when he was shooting it, everyone was like, he was amazing. Da da da. So that was. Dylan Everett, and he's amazing. And he didn't actually jump though. Right? No, 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 okay. that was a stunt double. Okay. I think he just stood there and then they cut. Okay. And then there was him on the floor. And this is also where they sell the tickets and stuff. Tickets for basketball, dances. And where like stuff. Adam and Becky had that whole thing. I had that whole like, yes. I like you, but I don't know if I should I, you. Know, you. I'm, not, I'm just telling you this stuff so that you know that I really watch the show. Yeah, no, okay. I'm okay. impressed. Okay. This is cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll take a stroll through the foyer. Um, I think when the whole like stabbing thing happened with Fitz and Eli, at, like that whole like, yeah. thing. I think that's when we got metal detectors, I think. That's right, yes, that's when it was, um, yeah. So that's a thing. We have the office, going into Principal Simpson's office. Um, and then we have the MI room. Oh, here, okay, the famous. considered the resource center, but it's also called MI. 
Now, Eli spends a lot of time in here, right? Like cutting projects and stuff? Yeah, we, you know, a lot of the artsy or like computer geeks will spend a lot of time here. So like Connor. I knew you were going to say Connor or, first. I knew you were going to say or Connor Or Eli. Um, so yeah, we kind of chill in here and these are all fake, but they become real when needed yeah, to see, be. No plugs. No, yeah, no plugs or anything. Also, sometimes when younger characters are shooting, we have tutoring in here. So they come to actual school and they work in here on homework and really? stuff like that. Yeah, like Olivia will come and work on her homework. Are you... Yeah, so... You're, no, you're making me feel very old. <laughs> so that's like a thing and the teacher will sit there and this becomes the classroom. Wow. Yeah. Okay, what's next? So we go through here... This is pretty like this is pretty generic school. See, I like this kind of stuff, Christine. Like just this little like touch. Yeah, like this is just like a real school. Yeah, just like a real school. We have like a rule board over here, okay. which is like I think you would really like. Um, so that's like rules, generic Degrassi rules. Now wait, what's the what's the new dress code? Because I feel like Imogen does not abide by it. Well, I am there. Ah, there's like a storyline about the dress code coming up. Which is cool. I can say that. Okay, perfect. Um, but when, you know, the uniforms got, like, abolished, everyone kind of did their own thing. But there's some storylines coming up um, involving the dress code, which is really cool that you brought that up. Perfect. All right. So, um, lockers. Lockers. Oh, let's, uh, I want to see the lockers. Um, yeah, this is, we don't usually use this hallway as, like, the generic locker okay. stuff. But we have some director's chairs, which we sit on. And I think that's a really cool thing when yeah. you have, like, your own chair as an actor. Um, but so it yeah. doesn't have your name on it. Not we have too many characters, yeah. so that was, that was a good answer. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Um, we'll walk through here though. Okay. And if you look to your left, we have the Bindari household, okay. the outside of it. However, this used to be Fiona's condo, right where I'm standing, which would probably be the couch of Fiona's condo. Which makes me really sad. Right. Are you on like sacred ground here? Yes, this yeah. is like me and Annie, like it's a thing. Yeah. Um, but we had the Fiona condo here and it was beautiful, what a great set. And then it got torn down and we were all really sad. Can right we here. can we take a quick yeah, look at Yeah, let's go to the okay. big Dari Hustle. Okay. It might be a little bit dark because I don't want to do it here right now, but you walk in. Yeah, my, this is this is obviously my parents' favorite room. <laughs> So everything's um, closed off and, you know, hidden right now so nothing gets dirty or dusty or anything. Um, but yeah, this is an amazing set. There's obviously a lot of storylines that go on in the Midari household. And there's Ray! We have, <laughs> you know, a picture of Ray, you know, just chilling. He was a real ladies' man, I gotta he tell was. you. He was. He like, was really cute. Yeah. I think he was my grandmother's favorite character, actually. Really? He was a cutie, yeah. Um, and then we have the living room. Um, and that's it, really. Cool one. It's a, it's a really cool set because there's the whole, you know, first floor of a house. And do, do you know if they're still going to use the Bindari house? Like, that's obviously why it's wrapped up, right? Because you don't know. Um, well, I don't know, but since coming back from Paris, I'm sure Jenna and Ali will, you know, have some scenes here yeah. with the Bindari parents. Well, I, I want to talk to you about the show. Do you want to sit down somewhere, maybe in a classroom? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's perfect. All right. All right, so now we're sitting down. This is like my favorite part because we don't have to do any more walking. Yeah, but that was fun. No, it was fun. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, I'm just very lazy. So, Christine, tell me, I feel like when I first met you, it was like 2011, yeah. and you were sort of like the new kid on the block. You know, you were like the Joey McIntyre, and now I feel like you're the wily veteran of the cast. So what has that transition been like? I know it's crazy. When I first met you, I actually did my first event when I met you. That was the premiere party, season 11. I was so nervous. I didn't know what to expect, but you were wearing purple and I was wearing purple. Yes. So you were the only media that was like extremely nice to me. And I was like, this is amazing. I, I was like, I only want to talk to the girl in the purple dress. That's it. <laughs> so um, from then on out, I have been having a great time and I get to go to amazing events and I see you all the time, which is always good to see a familiar face. And I'm usually wearing the same thing. Um, yeah, but it's like cool because it's purple and everyone loves purple. So it's been a really good ride so far and it's weird to think that I'm like an older cast member now because I just feel like it just went by so fast. Now, I know the question that everybody has for you is how are you coping not only with Fiona leaving but with Annie leaving the show? Like what has that been like? Because I gotta tell you, I like Adam, mm -hmm. but I don't like these scenes with you and Adam, right? Like I just want you to stay loyal to Fiona. Right, I think a lot of fans would agree with you with that. Um, Annie is one of my best friends and I love her dearly. I think a lot of fans will be happy to know that next year me, Annie, Jessica Tyler, and Chloe Rose are thinking of living together in L.A. 
So that will be a thing, and I think fans will follow us and, you know, kind of um, be with us during our journey in L.A. So um, that's really exciting, and it's really hard because... Is that the L.A. Complex, too? Um, the L.A. Complex, too. Perhaps a reality show okay. would spun out of that, but no. Um, still really close to all those girls, making new friends on the set as new characters come in, which is really cool as well. You know, I find that Imogen gets some of the more challenging storylines on the show. Do you feel that way too? And does that help you grow as an actor? You know, just in the sense that like you had the whole thing with Fiona, now the thing with Adam, mm -hmm. um, and you enjoy playing difficult roles. Yeah, I think Imogen started off as a little mysterious character. No one really knew much about her. And now as she has her own storylines, people see who she really is as a character. And for me as an actor, that's awesome because I get to play so many different things and with different characters and I, I get to grow and see how they act, which is really cool. But sometimes I like how Imogen has the lighter storylines too, which she's funny and she's kind of quirky. So I like that about her too. You know, Degrassi is now in its 13th season. How is it possible for this show to do so well? Is there one thing about it? Is it the acting? Is it the writing? Is it the, the fact that like they can just transition characters in so well? I think that's a huge part of it, how we have new characters and they kind of just flow with it. It's not like a, a weird thing that a new character is coming in. There's always new characters and always new people. So I think that's one of the things. Also, I just think we're really relatable and kids just like to watch us go through things that they go through every single day. Um, and I like to watch it too. I'm a huge fan of the show and I always wonder, oh, what's Allie going to do next or what's Drew going to do next? So I think fans just want to know like, what's going to happen to us and I think that's why we have such a great fan base. You know, uh, I always talk to fans that are like, oh, we love Eclair, we love Eclair. So, um, <laughs> because now, you know, they can't say Fimogen anymore. Yeah. Oh, so I, my heart breaks. I, I want to know what Christine's favorite couple is on the show. Oh, what a great question. Um, I really liked Drew and Bianca, perhaps because I really like Luke and Alicia. Um, but I think they were really hot together. Um, Eclair is a favorite as well, always. I also like the bromance of Mo and Jake. I love Justin and Jacob. They are such great actors and they played that so well. Now, you know, speaking about Christine, like you've also started doing movies now, right? Like Nikki Deuce? Yeah. yeah I Tell did me about a, that. Yeah, I did a film last summer called Nikki Deuce. It was a TV Nickelodeon film. I did it with some of the Soprano guys, which was amazing, an amazing experience and I will never forget it. Um, but that was a really cool thing to shoot as well. Now, now the question that I really want to know, why is Christine the queen of Instagram? Christine oh, no. is always <laughs> trending. I, I'm telling you, this girl is always, she could take a photo of that chair and oh, it would trend. No, okay, so, so, so I want to know what your Instagram secrets are. Honestly, I get really embarrassed with this stuff. I know I post a lot of things and I tweet a lot, but it's kind of embarrassing. Like, what am I doing on social media so much? You know what I mean? Oh, that was the buzzer. We're shooting something right now. Um, but yes, I, I post a lot of things on Instagram because I like fashion and I like to, you know, have ideas of what people are wearing and I want to give people ideas. So that's why I'm always on Instagram, but I'm kind of embarrassed by it. Well, it's not what you're <laughs> posting. I just want, I just want to know why you're so good at it. Is there something that you do? Is it a hashtag thing? I just want like tips to improve my Instagramming. Well, sometimes I do picture frames. So I do like a collage of things. I think people like collages. So okay. maybe you should try that. Okay, out. perfect. All right, Christine, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, thank you so All right. much. Thank you. So that concludes my tour of Degrassi with Christine, who came in especially for this. Christine, thank you so much. Thank you. I had so much fun, and I hope you liked it. I did. Can you promise that Imogen is never going to leave the show? Ugh, I wish I could promise that, but really? maybe we can pull some strings. Can't you just keep failing? Just keep failing. Yeah, let's keep failing. Yeah. Imogen, keep lose failing. The, lose the glasses. You know, yeah. don't be such a studious person. Yeah, let's let's make that happen. Okay, perfect. All right, perfect. <laughs> thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you. much. So here with Lila Tau, who plays Kristen on Degrassi. Now you have had a pretty big role this season. Do you feel like things have changed for you since last season? Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, Tristan's matured a lot as a character. I feel he's a lot more mature. And um, the storyline we're actually shooting today, I'm really excited for everyone to see. It's kind of, um, it's very unexpected. You know, uh, we're really early into the season now, so I know this episode isn't shooting for a while, but can you talk a little bit about the relationship between Tristan and Miles? Because I'm fascinated by it. Uh, Tristan and Miles, yeah, you know, even it's a confusing sort of thing. In the read-through, I think everyone was very confused. Where is Miles straight? Is he gay? Or maybe he's bi? Like, no one really knows. And, um, you know, I can't really give too much away. You just have to watch it and figure out. I find that last season Tristan was sort of looking for a romantic interest and this season he just seems a lot more comfortable with it. Is that sort of the growth that you see as well? I think Tristan is always that person that's like, oh, I don't need a relationship. I'm just going to focus on this and this and this. And then he always secretly wants a relationship. I think it's always been like that. Like every storyline that's involved, the guy is always, is he's never like, I want love right off the bat. It's always like, oh, I don't need love. And then it's like, okay, now I want it. 
when you join a show, is it sort of hard to establish yourself? Because I feel like just in general, you're more comfortable. And I was asking Christine that too, like when she joined the show, now she's sort of like one of the older members. So are you more comfortable than where you were last season, for example? Yeah, I mean, this year, it was actually a big shock this year because like more new kids came on, a whole new batch kind of, of right. new kids. And I realized I'm like, I'm not the new kid anymore. Mm -hmm. And that was really weird because it honestly feels like I started working like last month. Like it does not feel like I've been here for like over two years now. So yeah, it was a big, it's a, always adjustment, any set or workplace that you go to, but I'm definitely well adjusted, very comfortable. We're probably too comfortable here sometimes. We really let loose. Right, right. We, we nap on our pool table. Like, oh really? That's, yeah. But it's just, uh, yeah, we're very comfortable. And, and finally, like, what is it about Degrassi? I've watched so many teen shows, but there's something different about this one, and I don't think it's the Canadian factor. I feel like the writing is stronger, the acting is better. Is there something about Degrassi that's made it as successful as it is to go 13 seasons? I think Degrassi is just a show that knows who they are. I think that's a problem with new shows, is they come out and they don't know where they're going, they don't really know how to work around. Like, you know, oh no, what happens after they graduate high school and stuff. I think Degrassi is just a show they've got the perfect formula, they've been here so long, they know what they're doing. And it just works out. They know when to, like, you know, get new characters, where to bring in new characters, when to graduate. They just know what to do, and that's why it keeps people intrigued. They and have a magic formula. For that. <laughs> now, now the question that all the fans want to know: If it was up to you for Tristan to get a new romantic interest on the show, who would you pick for for Tristan? Actually, the storyline we're shooting right now, I'm really liking this. It's a very interesting, out of the blue kind of thing that no one would expect, and I'm. I like that, like, you know, as an actor, you always want to do something that's not just the norm, right. kind of, like, you know, just meet somebody you fall in love with at school or whatever. No, it's like, it's really cool, so you'll just have to watch that, but um, no one that's on the show right now that you're watching, I don't think is really a good match for Tristan, wow. in my opinion, okay. um, but yeah. That sounds perfect. Thank you so much, Lyle. Thank yeah. you, guys.